challenges that were shush please <laughs> longest book right now <laughs> It's Jay and today I am here with my TBR Takedown 4.0 TBR and it was a readathon created by Shannon over at Leaning Light so I'll leave her link down below and the Twitter to the TBR Takedown. It's going to be taking place next week which is June 20th to June 26th and so without further ado, let us get started! There's a total of five challenges that we're supposed to try to complete. Obviously you don't have to if you don't want to and you can just read as many books on your TBR that you want. But knowing me, I love myself a challenge. So I'm going to try to complete all five. Probably won't happen because I'm still in a kind of slump thing-ish, whatever you want to call it. Like I've read a lot this month, but I just don't want to read, if that makes sense. It's like I'm forcing myself to do it, which is not the way it should be, children. Do not force yourself to read if you don't want to because then you end up hating all the books you read. The first challenge is to read the book that's been on your TBR the longest. I have so, so many of those on my shelves, so I'm just picking one of the books that I said I was going to read this weekend. And that is going to be The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiefvater. I've had this book on my shelf for over a year. I don't know why I haven't read it yet. I just haven't. I don't know that much about it other than that it's this horse race that the participants of this competition try to complete and there's these things called water horses and every first day of November the Scorpio races take place and you have to try to keep control of your water horse for the entirety of the race. I think you have to cross a river or something. Who really knows? Not me, clearly. But it's basically this champion rider who won the competition last year is coming back as the favorite and then a girl named Puck who is the first girl who has ever entered these races decides that she's going to enter but she never thought that she would enter the races so I'm assuming there's some kind of circumstance that makes her have to enter and the tagline just says some race to win others race to survive so assuming it's going to be an action-ish kind of book, but I guess we'll see once I actually read it. The next three challenges I'm going to use in order to read a series, kind of. Kind of cheating on one of them, but you know, it's fine. And the first challenge is to read the first book in a series, so the first book in this series is The Selection by Kira Cass. This book follows America Singer and she wants nothing to do with The Selection. Which is basically just The Bachelor competition in book format. And it's to win the heart of Prince Maxon, and she doesn't want anything to do with it because she already loves a boy named Aspen, but he is below her in the caste system, and basically she gets selected, and then she must decide whether she is going to play the games or not. And I've heard a lot about this book, I've heard that a lot of people find it to be like their guilty pleasure read. But then I've also heard that it's terrible and a lot of people hate it. So I'm interested to see what I think of it and I will let you all know in my wrap up because I think this is the first book that I'm going to read because I'm curious if I like it or not. So the next challenge is to read a sequel. So I'm going to go with The Elite by Kira Cass. This is the second book in the selection series. So I'm going to read it and hopefully I will like it. But we will see once I read the selection. If I will actually continue. If not, I'll just pick something else. But we'll see. Okay, this is a challenge I'm kind of cheating on. I'm sorry, but it's gonna happen because your girl is a cheater. We should all know this by now. We should all know this by now. So the challenge is to read a book from your most recent haul. Well, I haven't really bought a lot of books lately, and the books that I do remember buying is from the selection trilogy that was included in it because I went to the thrift store because your girl only shops at the thrift store. We all know this. So, for this challenge, I'm going to read The One by Kira Cass. And hopefully, I liked the first two books enough to read this one. I don't have The Heir or The Crown, so if I like these three books, then I will go pick them up eventually off of the thrift store because, again, I'm broke and we do not have the money to go buy two more books at full price in Canada. It's not a thing. Canada, please lower your book prices. Thank you. And then the fifth and final challenge is to read a book out of your comfort zone. Okay. okay. Don't think I will actually read this book. It's probably the last one I will pick up if I get through the other ones. You should not be proud of me that I'm even considering it. And that is The Immortal Instruments, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I know. I have said I'm going to read this book since January of, like, 2014. It was in my series I want to complete 
video of 2016. Have I completed this book yet? No, I haven't even started it. Because it intimidates me, and that is why I'm using it for out of my comfort zone, because it's terrifying. Look how big it is, and I've heard so many good things about it, and what if I hate it, okay? I will be really upset if I hate it. Because I have the rest of the series, so if I hated it, I spent like 80 million dollars on this. Like, this book was 24.99 Canadian, and I have all the hardcover books, which were probably all 24.99 Canadian. Do you know how much money that is? So if I hate these books, do you know how disappointed I'll be? And that is why I haven't read them yet, but we're gonna do it. Hold me accountable, people. Hold me accountable. Alright guys, so that was my TBR takedown. TBR 4.0. TBR. How many times can I say TBR in a video? A lot, apparently. If you guys are planning to participate, let me know down below so I can watch your videos to see what you are reading and talk to you if I've read any of the books. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Okay, bye.